Um, hello there. Uh, in this uh, example, I'd like to introduce a, uh, a solution uh, in GraphWorks, Iconics GraphWorks, uh, uh, to allow uh, direct communication between the uh, OPC uh, layer uh, and database. Uh, this is a uh, pseudo grid solution. Uh, and what you'll see is uh, uh, practically a standard grid control which is built uh, using the uh, uh, Iconix uh, GraphWorks uh, standard uh, uh, features. Uh, there's no additional ActiveX, this is all just the native uh, pieces that are come standard with uh, GraphWorks. Uh, it is also supported on uh, uh, web HMI uh, as a result of uh, uh, VB scripting uh, implementation. Uh, solution uh, is extensible and uh, allows uh, to increase number of uh, columns and uh, rows effectively uh, through uh, changing uh, these settings. Uh, Ch uh, changing rows, increasing or decreasing number of rows are rather more uh, simple uh, in comparison. Uh, changing number of columns is a little bit more uh, complex but also uh, well, uh, well defined. Okay, so um, in this particular scenario there is a uh, OPC server used as a, as a standard Iconics OPC server suit uh, for uh, in this particular case, using the uh, OPC uh, uh, protocol for up to 22 controller, we'll see here is several tags being created and uh, linking the uh, string uh, uh, tags uh, in up to 22 uh, controller. Here is up to 22 controller online, so we'll see here that the values are currently uh, blank. The strategy is running. Uh, the solution uh, uh, works in a way that uh, once the grid is loaded, it will push the values from uh, the database to OPC, although once it's done, it is possible to uh, change values in OPC uh, tags and then store those changes back to the database. Alright, so let's see how it works on the client side. So here's the client, I'm going to bring up the web HMI, so you'll see that the values gets pushed to the database, uh, so we can navigate through, through the grid, so the last page, first page, so now uh, let's take a look at the uh, database, here's the database, so obviously for each relevant uh, value such as uh, these values, we have to have a pair value uh, which represent uh, an OPC address. So what we'll see here is that the column A for each, uh, for each cell in column A, there's a corresponding cell in OPC column A which contains uh, OPC link. Um, obviously it, it could be uh, the scenario when we use OPC addresses or we can effectively uh, leave them blank. Uh, in this case the uh, the grid uh, cell would be substituted with the local variables. Obviously number of local variables uh, would uh, define uh, the uh, the capacity of, of the grid and of course it could be extended as I mentioned earlier. All right, anyway, so you see that the values are right now being synchronized with the uh, uh, database. For instance, row zero, column A is now, uh, that value is being uh, pushed to this OPC tag. So if we open this, you will see it's right there. So, or effectively we can observe this uh, uh, through uh, through the client. 
So here's the client. Uh, okay, now let's go through a basic changes. Uh, so we can add a new record by clicking here. It automatically brings up the very last page and introduces the new row. Uh, here we can uh, put some new value. Press enter. Press enter and then simply click add. So now I'll see this is now being created. So as I mentioned, uh, by default these values are not linked to any OPC tags because this has to be done in a database later, but we can effectively add the records and then later on link them to uh, required OPC tags. So where in contrast you see that the records or the cells that are linked to OPC they explicitly indicating their links through the uh, pop-ups. So in contrast here we'll see a combination of non-linked and linked. Same here. Linked, non-linked. Uh, now let's check the database. So in the database we'll see the the new value now is being inserted right there. A new record rather. So and obviously by changing this values we can uh, effectively link it to a OPC tag. Uh, okay now uh, let's let's go through a other scenarios. Uh, supposedly we want to let's say delete a record. So let's pick this record. So we select the record uh, and then click delete. That would effectively delete the record. So now it, as you can see it's gone. It's now uh, it's missing. So one more deletion. So record ID 7, delete so we're deleting the row number five. Seven is gone. Um, changes. Uh, for instance, we would like to uh, make a change to a, a particular uh, cell which is linked to OPC tag. So again, similar scenario was selected and then we can put here update. Press enter. Now, as you can see, it's it's first of all it's stored to OPC tag in in the processor, and then once it's done, we can click update, and it will effectively update the database. So now, if we look at the database, uh, uh, we'll see the database is now has an updated value right there. Um, all right, a few words on uh, how the solution is delivered. As I mentioned earlier, it uses VB scripts. Here's a uh, uh, global VB scripts uh, realized through a series of functions. There is also the set of event, uh, button events, and obviously there is a uh, system event uh, on the start. Um, so, uh, I think that that uh, should be quite useful uh, in the implementation. Oh yeah, there's one more thing that I want to mention, the how easily it's to change the number of rows. So let's go from five rows to six rows. Uh, oh, so as, uh, as it gets updated and republished, uh, uh, so now let's take a look at the client. Here's client, so obviously we have to reload it. Now we see you have a now six rows. The rest of this uh, is absolutely the same. Again, we can browse through. Obviously this is the last. Uh, and all the rest of the features could be 
used as well. Okay, I think this uh, could be a quite helpful uh, tool in several implementations because I've been observing persistently the need of uh, linking database uh, tables uh, with the OPC tag uh, in the user uh, interface. So that solution is effectively providing uh, what's called the integrated solution where there's no additional tool is required to communicate with the database uh, even ActiveX is not required. So again, let's say pseudo-grid uh, with uh, full uh, functionalities uh, including update, insert, delete, etc. Uh, which is uh, implemented using Iconix, uh, Graphworks, uh, non-VBA uh, design. Thank you for your attention.